Okay, so I think this is an introduction to who are the main companies. So who are the main, I guess, good side, bad side? I don't even know if the good side. Who are the main competitors? Up north, Taurus security forces battle block their militaries over the Great Slave Lake oil refinery. So it said the block and Taurus are fighting over the Great Slave Lake oil refinery. Uh, in the ARC universe, it seems like a lot of people are fighting and moving north. And if we look at the Great Slave Lake is that's a real lake. That's a real lake? I thought it was fictional. No, it's a real lake in Canada. Hmm. Let's go to maps here. Okay. Let's go maps. Here we go. Yep. So here we go. This is Google Maps. Here's the United States. Here's Canada. And here is the Great Slave Lake. Canada has a Which, slave lake. That's <laughs> I don't think I don't know why it's called the Great Slave. Uh, it's lake. a weird name there, Canada. Mm -hmm. But it is it is north, like Alaska, Greenland mm -hmm. level north. So interesting that there's an oil refinery, maybe in one of these larger towns, that has been built in, you know. So that means people want to go north. I think this means global warming has happened s to such a sufficient level that higher latitudes are now livable and so they're starting to build infrastructure up north interesting i did not interpret it like that i interpreted it as in the lower altitudes i guess i guess mm -hmm. in the altitudes lower latitudes so closer yeah. to the equator that's yeah. it's more livable there so that's where you're more likely to encounter people so if you want to not encounter people you go to more remote places which is up there oh. um right that was my guess but also I see. I think for the portion of the clip that we've seen thus far, they're just talking mm -hmm. about the block versus the tor uh, versus Taurus competing for yeah. resources. Like you're, they're fighting right. over the oil refineries. Yeah, right. it makes sense. And for some reason, there's one up here, and they're fighting over mm -hmm. it. The refinery borders the Arctic parallel neutral zone. Taurus executives accuse the Arctic parallel of providing a safe haven for block leaders. Man so there's a political entity up in the Arctic that is some kind of government mm. that Taurus and the Bloc are both competing to influence. That's what I'm hearing. Ah, they're kind of like the Switzerland where they're like, we're not a part of this, but yeah. And then Taurus or the Bloc, well, I forget which one, they're like, you're harboring criminals. Yeah. Man, why always gotta listen to this propaganda? Know thy enemy, my brother. Yeah, well, the Pope tells it like it really is. So the Pope tells it as it really is? Yep. I think... When I heard the Pope, I was thinking that that is just the title for the rebel propaganda, the block propaganda. Um, but is it actually the Pope? I, I thought it's actually the Pope. So it's like corporations versus a religious institution. That's the that's the universe that this is all set in. Gosh, I watched the whole movie thinking that's just the title for the rebel <laughs> propaganda wing. Oh, you mean you mean but, like the like the talking head, like the yeah. the spokesperson? Mm -hmm. is the, the name is the Pope. And that's like the radio show, the Pope is telling you as it is. But you're thinking this could turn into a religious war where the block is represented by the Pope. Yeah, I think so. So in the, you know, so I'm imagining a world where corporations are super big, super powerful, mm -hmm. these enormous entities, and they're competing with each other. It turns bad, it turns military, it turns fighting and so then the pope is like no 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 like we are here for humanity and let me i'll guide the way and this is not what we should be doing which actually is just the pope throwing his hat in the ring right and so then so then you get this religious group the block mm -hmm. and its paramilitaries versus corporations okay interesting we got totally different interpretations <laughs> from the pope and it's actually unclear i think and it's open to interpretation i think like what the block is is it a religious organization or is it just sort of some sort of non-religious rebel group so when i think of the block i think it's a group of people that came together like we are the block like we we formed together to stop mm -hmm. tourists and the and the beginning of that newsreel says that they're paramilitaries which also suggests to me yeah like a bunch of people grouped together and they formed an army and so like a citizens uprising sounds like pope's okay. stuff up north, Taurus security forces battle block paramilitaries over the Great Slave Lake. Yeah, block paramilitaries, that's right. Mm -hmm. 
propaganda. Know thy enemy, my brother. Yeah, well, the Pope tells it like it really is. Tourist execs claim that the energy crisis threatens humankind. Like so, Taurus execs claim that the energy crisis threatens humankind. Sounds very plausible. And Taurus has hired Renton to help solve the energy crisis, which probably means they have enormous teams for it. That means they're trying to solve the energy crisis. Is That sounds pretty good to me. Sounds good to me. Unless you're the Pope. Taurus claims to be humanity's Cut savior. Four <laughs> Taurus claims to be humanity's savior. If they're investing in energy infrastructure, not entirely implausible. Maybe a little, a little overzealous or something, but... So, there's three of us. Our executioner. Okay, and it's hard to hear the rest of the news. Hmm. But it sounds like there's competing propaganda going on. Sure. I mean, I mean that's sense. also true. Yeah, that's, that's always true. It's constant propaganda, yeah. Yeah. And so this is the rebel. Rebels are generally called the block and the corporation. Like, there's just like one called Taurus. I guess it could be more complicated than that. But there's some the two big factions. I'm not even sure who to call the rebels here, because on one hand you have a corporation versus a, the Pope with with a bunch of people who we think have banded together. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, the Pope is an institution that's been around for a couple thousand years, right? Like, that's right. And the the propaganda wing of Taurus calls the Bloc military a paramilitary, which implies that it's un disorganized and mm -hmm. not official. But that's, but that's what you would say. Right? Yeah, that's what you would say. The difference between a paramilitary and a military is like which side you're on. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. 